What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the NM Fitness Podcast. This is episode eight, and today we are joined by a very special guest by the name of Mayhem. Mayhem is a 5% sponsored athlete. Uh, we met him when we went and did the warehouse tour of the 5% facility, and you know, we got to chit-chatting a little bit, and uh, he wanted to be on the podcast to tell the story and you know all that craziness, so uh, we wanted to have him on here, and uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy the show. Grab a drink, grab some snacks, whatever you guys need, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started so mayhem welcome to the show <laughs> thank you for having me yeah I'm man, happy yeah. to be here in a uh, good old daytona beach florida yeah definitely man go ahead lift your mic up just a little bit so it's a little there yeah you go. You i felt like be... a midget there we go there we go there yeah, we yeah, go. yeah i was yeah. afraid to touch it because you know <laughs> no you're good man you're good so uh yeah so uh what uh what brought you to five percent man tell us your story where you know where you're from okay so <laughs> take us in the beginning man i will try to make this short there's actually a video on my youtube you can go see the whole thing over at coach mayhem underscore official nice um check that out so uh originally from dayton um i dayton ohio yeah dayton ohio nice. bro i'm from ashtabula ohio no kidding <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> wait didn't we talk about this before we probably no, did i don't I remember don't we were having some beers i don't remember yeah there, were, there was adult <laughs> beverages there so who knows <laughs> anyway so um back to good old dayton ohio um, long story short, I had found myself in a hospital bed more than I care to admit. And I came across these stories from Rich Piano. Of course, you mm -hmm. know, the infamous videos I'm talking about. I'm going to move this just, yeah, back, go ahead. just a little, you bit. might have to just keep messing with it. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might, I hope not, but either way. <laughs> um, so it was after like the last time I got shot 2018, I'm laying there and I'm, well, actually, no, 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 that's a lot. Let me back up. Um, 2015 mm -hmm. I was going through some issues and I actually it was the liver and kidney failure I believe that was then um I either way I ran across videos of Rich Piana and obviously those inspired me in 2018 after I had met Rich I had been shot like at this point I had been through so much I had already been through heart failure I've been dead twice I've been shot multiple times like I, I've been through the fucking ringer um Dayton like, gets down huh that's crazy dude, <laughs> like my hometown I have seen some shit I never thought I would see and one of those things was a cop on a cop car on blocks like oh, I, somebody <laughs> stole the fucking rims off the cop car. I was like, brave, but okay. Right. I mean, whatever. <laughs> That's crazy. It, yeah, Dayton's insane. It's not anywhere you would want to go to, a, like, on a vacation or anything. I hate to go back, and in fact, like, I don't go back. Right, no. Um, it, it's just I haven't even been to my hometown in, like, probably years and years and years. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I tell my parents and my people, like, Mom, come down here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, come yeah. see me. I live in paradise. I'm not going back up there. It's, right, it sucks. Right. Either way, um, back to the videos of Rich. I've been through hell at this point. Uh, my girlfriend was murdered in front of me. Like anything that you could think of that was like just detrimental that would cripple a normal human being, I've already gone through. And so it was those r videos from Rich that was really like a final push for me. And I never really planned on being a sponsored athlete in the beginning because after the last time I got shot, they were saying I may not walk. I couldn't feel my legs. They were like the bullet had hit a nerve. Oh, shit. I couldn't feel anything from the waist down. So I was scared shitless. Yeah, I bet. I mean, at 26 years old, I'm being told I may not walk again. I'm like, um, fuck. Yeah, what the hell are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? So like my dream then was like, if I can just get up and walk, may I'll be a personal trainer. I'll make some money, da 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 da, da. And little did I know that that would spiral into all this right so i uh, still i mean if rich had passed at this point after i met him um i did in fact get to show him like my dog which you know he loves pit bulls oh so, yeah absolutely. I, you know i run around with my bull, bull, blue dog <laughs> blue nose yeah. pit bull <laughs> named gia i don't know why i couldn't get that out um so it, me me and him had met her so uh, i guess in a weird twist of and i how do I say it? In a weird, twisted way, like, that man still inspires me to this day. Yeah, absolutely. And I kind of wish I, I was in the shape that I needed to be to get on the team then. Mm -hmm. But here we are. It's 2018. I'm back in the gym. This is after, like, the heart attack. This is after, like, yeah, my, my heart failed. Somebody uh, gave me some GHP, dosed me, and I ended up... Uh, on a hospital bed, having a doctor telling me I was dead. 
Oh my god. And From I mean, GHP? No, 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 no. See, oh. that's how they put me out. Oh, uh, okay. After I drank that, I didn't know what the hell was going on. Right. I woke up in that hospital bed, like I was just saying, with a whole bunch of pen pricks in my hand. These high ass people were just literally trying to kill me. They shot me up with meth. Um, it had meth, carfentanil, and heroin all in one needle. What and the, the doctor's fuck? looking at me. This was 2018, so I'm in better shape than I was when I met Rich in 2017. <clears throat> I don't didn't look like I did now, but right. you could tell. Like I'm in, the, I'm a gym person. I'm not a drug addict. So they're like, right. "What the fuck happened?" Right. And I gave them the rundown, and they were like, "Kids, somebody, <laughs> somebody tried to kill you because this doesn't make sense." And I mean, that was scary. So. With that happening, I got released from the hospital 24 hours. I was back in the gym doing cardio, and I was like, all right, I've already been beat death like umpteen fucking times. Right. I'm like, I'm, this is my push. I'm going to do whatever the fuck it took. And that's when back to the videos of Rich back when he was still alive, that whatever it took mentality. And I'm yeah. like, fuck it, it's go time. Yeah, yeah, I man. I mean, everything I've been through should have broken me, and I'm, somehow I'm still here. So, mm -hmm. um, and I never really intended it to be like this. This is all like I would get to one level, like the personal trainer, like, oh, cool, this is dope. And I'd hit that level, and I'm like, wait, there's there's another mountain to climb. There's so much more to this. Just shit. when you think you're at the top, yeah, no, yeah. you're still at the bottom, well, bro. I mean, <laughs> at the top of personal training, that sucks. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 fucking, yeah. No, I oh, can only imagine. God, <laughs> twelve hour days, ungrateful people who pay a shit. Like, yep. <laughs> yeah, no, terrible. I could never do that. Like no. not like one on one like that. Oh God, mm -hmm. and I, I was working in box gyms too, so it made it even worse. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. God, like anyway, well, that's another story for another time. We won't go there. <laughs> so, um. Back up to speed, let's go to like 2020, 2021. Um, the pandemic is starting to hit. Um, I'm actually living in Florida already at the time. I had just gotten signed to 5%. Like I, that's how, like, that's how balls to the wall I was about it. I was like, I didn't even get signed to 5% before I moved out here. Like, I right. You were already the, dead set yeah, on Yeah. I was like, I'm, <laughs> this is where I'm going. Like, if I'm going to be, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to go for 5% no matter what. Right. Right. And luckily I knew like three people down here. One, uh, one was actually working for Titan Medical Center. So shout out Titan Medical Center. Yeah. You guys rock. Um, thanks for all your help, by the way, too. Uh, so I moved in, didn't give a shit, got an apartment in the same place that she was living, and in a crazy twist of fate, I had already known, like, um, do you know Joe Schwartz from up the Northeast? Mm -mm. All right, so I knew him, and I knew one of the athletes okay. uh, from Ohio. So I and back and forth with them. They had seen my story. And they're like, dude, this is insane. So they both had recommended me to Selma. I'm, you know the infamous Selma. Yeah, I've heard Shout her. out Selma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God love her. She's awesome, isn't she? Yeah, oh yeah. Um, so finally got an email from her. I don't remember when exactly it was. I know it was in May. It was May 5th. So I found that ironic that it yeah, was yeah. May 5th. And it was I actually from I signed, 5%. The, yeah, I was signed <laughs> the contract. I was like, that's fitting though. So... I guess I kind of sped through my story in hopes people will go watch that uh, video that actually 5% put together because it's... Oh, they it's, actually put it together for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they, nice. They, uh, well, they started with me and they did like a, uh, a mini documentary on me. And then we also have some other badass like people on our team like Emma, Cable, um, fucking Luke or Dylan, they've all done like some amazing shit. Mm -hmm. Al's another one of them. So they hired a, uh, a camera guy to come with us and kind of film us through our day and tell our story and shit. So right. once they all, once the other teammates saw mine, they're like, yeah, Hey, let's do this. So they ended up doing like a mini docu series on a lot of us. Nice. The people I just mentioned. Right. And they all turned out fucking awesome. Yeah. They're I'm all sure. Kick ass. And you said uh, that video is available on your YouTube channel, right? It is. Okay. It cool. is. Awesome. And then actually, uh, all the, all the little mini documentaries you can see on our 5% nutrition.com website. Nice. And then all of our Instagrams, IGs, you know, right, right. Nice. All that good stuff. So, um, where are we at? Let's come back up to, I got signed, and then my first or second Arnold up there with the team. I don't remember which one it was. It was just last year. 
I got hit on my motorcycle through two days after coming back from the Arnold, which I had to have surgery on this shoulder. Right. Is that what the scars from? It is. Okay. All right. is. So this is no, just right. as soon as you get back from the Arnold. Literally just as soon as I got back. Like so my career is just starting. Right. And then literally I heal up from that. I start putting back size on. I got back up to like two forty. Um, ended up having a problem with some idiot outside of a club. It was way too late. This is why I don't go out and party with just anybody. Right, right. At, at all, for real. Because uh, you know what? It, what's the saying? Nothing good happens past midnight. Yes, yeah, yes. So there I was. <laughs> I can't even stay awake past midnight anymore, bro. I'm I mean, getting old. <laughs> <laughs> if I get that midday dap, dude, I'm dangerous. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could be. It's sad, to, but it's true. Yeah, I'm with you. Absolutely. Yo, if I yep. fall asleep at noon or noon to two, it's over. Yep, yep. yep. That's funny. <laughs> so I end up getting in a fight out there, got tackled, fucked this shoulder up. I just had sh- uh, surgery. Can't say that for some reason. Shoulder <laughs> surgery. Right, right. Just had surgery on this one um, a couple months ago. So I've just now been back in the gym, like slowly working out. Right. And it's almost pathetic. Well, like, I mean, at least you got to the point where you're able to get on the 5% team before, you know, this crazy crazy shit happened and i'm sure they've right. had your back kind of through it right you know i'm lucky i haven't been fired because i don't know <laughs> like it's for real like i've literally been hurt the majority of the time that i've been on the team but right somehow like i've made a career out of getting hurt and bouncing back so well that's hey that's sometimes that's what it takes man you know what i mean oh, but it's, it's i'm sure you're happy that you're at least here now you know i i mean i am what's it like being with five percent though like how is so, that that's got to be fun oh god it depends it on is, the day i guess yeah it depends <laughs> on the day for real but no, it is actually a lot of fun um i get to travel i get to go all over the place you already know pete pete's yeah. wild pete takes me everywhere he is serious wild <laughs> that dude was driving down the road the other day you guys when we went to go see him he's got one foot up on the heater vent one foot driving he's just all over the place. i'm like what the hell is going he's trying to send a text oh, i'm God. like what the- like pete buy a f- pete if you're watching this buy a phone mount bro put that bro, phone on a mount you know what bro, i mean for real for <laughs> real and i've traveled across multiple states with this guy like, oh no I, no, God, no they convinced me to drive to ohio with him and that was the dumbest no. thing <laughs> <laughs> from florida man from i wouldn't Tampa. even be able to sleep if he was driving Dude, the car I like didn't. that <laughs> yeah, no. I didn't. And Pete, we love you, buddy. We love you. Oh, I really do. I really do. And worse off, I was having issues with my ulcer then as well. So it was oh, like Jesus Christ. it was the worst ride <laughs> ever for me. And I was just being I was quiet the whole time because I was just trying not to die. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So I could bad. imagine, bro. We were driving, he's got his phone in his hand, he's trying to drive around. I'm like, this guy, goddamn oh, man, God. you're gonna, gonna die before we even get to the warehouse. <laughs> I was like, no, if this ulcer doesn't kill me, his driving will. Right. Right. Yo, yeah, dude. That's funny. I did that. That was actually the first time I I saw you was the warehouse trip. That's always yeah. a fun trip, right? Yeah, man. That was awesome, bro. Like that. That was really cool for me. That was a big deal because five percent to me was like. I mean, when I first saw Rich, I was 430 pounds. Holy you know? shit. Yeah, dude. I was 430 pounds. I was sitting on my couch, and my wife is working out. She's getting you know skinnier and skinnier by the week, yeah. and I'm thinking to myself like. This can't happen. I cannot be the fat guy with a sexy wife. Like, right. just, you know what I mean? Like, I can't right. do this shit. So I found Rich's video, and I don't even remember. Like, I swear, if I really think about it, I could figure out what was the first one I ever watched from him. Um, but it was like I watched it, and I don't know what the fuck happened. But I literally the next day I got up and I woke my wife up, and I was like, "Hey, so let's go to Dick's Sporting Goods." And she's like, "Why are we going to Dick's?" I said, "Because I'm going to buy uh, an elliptical." No. She goes, "Why are you going to buy an elliptical?" I said, "Because Rich, this guy that I watch on YouTube, said that if I do fasted cardio, it'll be good. I want to do that." I was like, right. "But I'm not going to. I can't go to the gym first thing in the morning because the, they got the babies. Because back then the kids were babies." Right. Um, right. And she's like, "Uh, okay." So <laughs> I drug her ass. We bought the nicest right. elliptical that would hold my weight. Um, <laughs> actually, I think it was rated for 350 pounds, but whatever. It did the job. Whatever. You know. And I just started doing fasted cardio, man. And as I did that shit, I would watch just every video. Which boom, boom, boom. Like, right. Rich got me through years of cardio. Thank he God really his videos did. were a little longer than normal. You know what I mean? Oh, right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. That long form was definitely a blessing. <laughs> yes, thank God. Especially trying to do 20, 30 minutes of fucking cardio on a damn elliptical. You know. Right. And it's back then man i just remember how hard it was like being so big and trying to do that kind of stuff i just posted a video the other day of a video i found where i was still like i want to say it was like 360 370 pounds sure. still and i was flipping this big tire man and the right. wife beater dude and it was just man it, everything hurt you know dude i can only imagine because how tall are you six six 
okay, so I'm 6'2", and the my heaviest I ever got was 280, and I was almost in a size 40. Yeah, so yeah, I that's, that's, that's the waist I wear now is a 40. I mean, but I've always had a yeah, big waist. Yeah, but you're waist. like, yeah, you're, you're yeah. giant. You're yeah, right now I'm sitting at, like, I just weighed myself the other day. I was sitting at, like, 267, uh, six foot six. So yeah, that's, that's usually right. I like to be a little leaner at this weight, but I've been so busy with everything, man. It's been crazy because my TikTok went from like zero to uh, 150,000 in like literally four months, like five months. And then from nice. there, it was just in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, just, yeah. Just, I was like, man, I got to just keep doing this right now. I'll, I'll work out later, you know? Yeah, I so, need to get tips on you on that TikTok thing. Bro, I just picked up my phone like, one day, man. You yeah. know what happened? I don't know if I ever told you, but I don't even, maybe these guys haven't even known. Uh, watched the story. <laughs> so what happened was it was a combination of two different things. First of all, the guy out front you met, David. Yeah, one yeah. day me and him were talking, and I was like, you know, I was like, man, the hell with TikTok, bro. You know, I don't right. like the TikTok. And he goes, man, he goes, what are you talking about? He goes, you know what you're doing. You know what you're talking about. Get on there and inspire people. Like, what do you mean? He goes, just start posting. Right. So I still didn't post anything to that point. And uh, a couple days later, I had a guy come in with his kid. His kid was like 16 years old, came into my supplement store. And he's like, yeah, he goes, you know, I'm just uh, wondering if you know where I can find any trend. I want to get on trend. And I'm like, bro, you can't get on trend. You're only 16. You no. can't just get on trend. No. And uh, I was like, there's no way you can do that. And his dad was like, well, you know, you know, we, we, we've done our research. And, you know, if we can find it, I'm going to let him use it because he's trying to put on some size for some sports, you know. Eat and I was like. Food. I was so flabbergasted, dude. Like, I was just blown away. I'm like, sir, you can't put this kid on trend. You have testosterone, okay. Okay. Yeah, even, even then, not at 16, but whatever. <laughs> it's better than trend. So, yeah. me and him actually get into it. I actually told him, I was like, are you stupid or something? As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, neither one of them have been back to my store since this encounter. Oh, I bet not. <laughs> but I was like, are you stupid or something? He goes, well, no. And then he got all offended. I'm like, bro, I said, you, you, will, you will fuck your kid up for the rest of his life. Like, oh, don't no, no. do that. So, anyways, they left and, uh, I was just so mad. I was like, fuck this. I'm posting a video to TikTok. And that's what I did. And I did a huge rant on SARMs and steroids and everything in general. Um, and that just took off. And so I was like, oh, this is what you guys want to talk about. All right, well, let's right. fucking talk about it. So right. then that's just what I went into. I and mean, it exploded. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and then, sense. you know, my, my story with my weight loss transformation obviously helps, you know. Oh, and, of course. And so, uh, you know, now I, I coach tons of people trying to help them with their weight loss. I don't coach bodybuilders. I do have some people that are competitive right. um, because I'm, I'm well versed in anabolics, but um, I just mainly focus on those people that just want their fucking life back, you know, Facts. and they, they don't think that they can do it. Facts. So it's and, actually how I got a lot. Uh, people look down on anabolics, but they don't ever hear like the good cases, like the, the, good stories if you will like yeah. mine where i was using hgh and like testosterone in small amounts and like yeah and i'm sure during your like injuries that. that shit helped a lot dude I, they were like how are you healing so fast yeah. <laughs> you're like, at home Man. just pounding raw hgh yeah. powder <laughs> 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 dumping this shit in your kool-aid <laughs> i don't know doc i'm just fucking doing 100 Look, i use dude, a gh today i asked if you knew about hormones and you said no so <laughs> i didn't even bother with the conversation <laughs> so but that's actually what uh, what brought my interest into knowing so much about compounds and other other things like that, like yeah. yourself and There's a lot of crazy properties to things like that if the people just do the research. It's and just use the, it properly. Ex yes, <laughs> yes, man. There's too many people out there trying to look like Nick Walker. They don't ever plan to get on stage right. you know, or compete at all. And it's like, you guys don't understand how many years you're taking off your life using shit like that Fact. for no reason. That's why I got off of it. I stay on some tests. I'll experiment with a couple little things here and there, but I haven't right. ran a, a cycle, which is another reason I lost all my size. Yeah. At my biggest, I was like 230 pounds, and I was uh, right around that 13, 14% body fat, somewhere right. in that ballpark. And for me, in my frame, that was like perfect. If I could have stayed there, good. But I, I at that point, I dieted down for my show that I did a transformation show, and I had to drop, um, I got to 280, and then we decided to, or yeah, 280, and then we decided at 280 that we were going to do the show, and I only had 12 okay. weeks to get ready. So I'm like, well, fuck, what are we going to do? Right. And he goes, well, we got to get you to 240 in 12 weeks. I'm like, fucking, I haven't what? been 240 since I left high school, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. So we get me down to 240. I get on stage. Um, and it was at that point when I realized that I didn't like the way I looked lean at all. Yeah. Um, because of being so heavy and loose skin and everything, like right. I should have had more visible abs and I didn't because right, I had right. so much loose skin and shit. Um, and I just, I lost so much weight so fast that I lost a lot of muscle, you know? So then I started bulking back up and then I got to a point where I was like, I got back up to like 275. And I was like, I don't want to be fucking heavy either. I'm like, I don't right. know what the fuck I want to be, man. Right. You know? Right. And then I realized, I'm like, maybe I just don't want to run all this shit in general right now. You know? That After almost sense. a decade of it, I'm like, this yeah. shit sucks. It starts to hurt. I'm fucking over it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, I mean, I don't know what your experience is with, you know, things like that and bodybuilding and stuff. But um, for me, I just decided I'm over it, man. That shit starts to hurt. 
I mean, I guess I'm I'm technically a bodybuilder, but I don't consider myself that. I'm That's, just yeah. in the fitness industry. I'm a lot like rich. Like I'm here mm-hmm. to like just educate, motivate people. Yes. Yep. And then somehow like I got lumped into, you know, the the genre of bodybuilding, which is cool because I do enjoy and respect the sport. Like, yeah, greatly. absolutely. It's I, one of the hardest I, sports there is, in my opinion. I mean, without a doubt. Like, yeah. there, and it, I'll say that and agree because it's there is no off season for real no. like that. Like it's a no. twenty four hour yep. thing, and even in the off season, it's like cute, cute, bro. You trained, all right, cool. Now let's go ahead and eat these twenty four meals for the day, <laughs> so I can actually put on a pound of muscle. Right, you know? right, it's, right. And I mean, I've already been through. I've put my body through hell already, mm-hmm. so it's just a fact and a miracle that i'm up and walking so right. like i have a desired goal obviously being on five percent i need to be bigger like yeah yeah i definitely need to be bigger which is cool because mm-hmm. that's what i want to do but i'm not trying to get 300 pounds like right that's just, and that's that's and then that was my thing it. yeah and that was my biggest thing too is that like because I, I do get some shit you know like what are you talking you're not even like jacked or whatever the case is right like, bro the top coaches in the world aren't fucking jacked what are you, are you, what are you talking about you know that's what i mean fact. like yeah i mean i don't care i used to be but i i have also realized that if i want to look like some of these like if i wanted to look like rich for example right, right at my height i would have to get up to 350 360 pounds that's you know like golem size for example yeah i don't want to do that my knees already fucking hurt you right know? and i'm like at this point guys i'm just trying to stay alive take care of my kids and help you amazing people and i know like watching him move around and then watching that man eat it's like golem you know, or rich yeah golem oh yeah yeah like he's a good dude some real broken English. Great guy. Yeah, yeah. Great, I, I great barely guy. understand him, but yeah, you can barely understand. Strong him, so as you, fuck, though. Holy God damn. Shit. Yeah. And we went out to uh, seasons fifty two, and I'd be damned if I didn't watch this man put down four plates like it was nothing. <laughs> I was like, Yeah, I want nothing to do with that. Like, yeah, I'll no. clear two, maybe mm-hmm. three. Yep. Yeah, man. No, but that was his regular thing. I'm like, no, I'm, and he does that multiple times throughout the day. He had like cholesterol issues and like blood pressure issues and all that shit. Oh, I'm he's like, got dude, all I'm type gonna... of issues. Like, yeah. I mean, I've been up and close with the guy. Like, we were in an air conditioned room, and I know he's got anxiety issues or whatever. Like, I right. mean, a lot of bodybuilders do, you know, yeah. which is strange. I, I think. Yeah, I think so too. I think that's wild. That but and body dysmorphia problems that bodybuilders have, I think, is kind of weird. But well, it's I like, mean, uh, I've got that, so I can. Yeah, we all. Understand. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like. But it's but like it is weird. People it's that like, aren't in this industry look at people that are like bodybuilders and they're like, you you, you look, look so great, amazing. You're like, in your head, I'm you're so like fat. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yes. It's like I feel like a fat piece uh, of shit. Dude. Yes, yes. Absolutely, <laughs> I man. Can't even see my abs right now. Even when I got off stage when I did my my one little show I did, um, you know, I had some abs and stuff, but then I got off stage uh-huh. and I ate some pizza, and it was like the first time in the 12 weeks that I, I ate pizza. <laughs> yeah, bro, I fucking <laughs> I ate that shit and I was like, I am fatter than a bitch right now, dude. Right. I had like bloated abs at that point. It was I probably still have a picture buried in my phone somewhere of that. Oh, it was so not Lenny abs. <laughs> yeah, no, it was like I had a before and after. It was like before pizza and nice and flat after pizza just pregnant <laughs> belly just some ab lines you know i mean it's it's a wild industry but i i love it like it, it's great like it's afforded me to do a lot of things i never thought i'd be able to do but yeah. i never really want to take it to the point where i'm on stage where i don't no. think a lot of people want to do that mm-hmm. and i i jokingly tell my clients because i do online training as well like i'm the perfect bridge between bodybuilders and then just wanting to look good naked yes and that's where people want to be you know what yeah. i'm saying because the majority of people don't want to bodybuild mm-hmm. like i've got a lot of respect for those coaches but i mean i'm not trying to do that no, dude. we only did that because it was just one of those things where i was friends with the guy that runs the show right and he's like you got to get on there and do your transformation and i'm like bro i take so many fucking steroids i cannot compete <laughs> in a natural show what are you talking They're about bro? Like, i think i was on probably three grams of fucking right. gear when we were having that conversation burning and he's like cup. he's like bro no he goes just do the transformation show he goes it's unsanctioned it's just for fun to show off your transformation and like what right. you accomplish and shit and i'm like not sanctioned, huh? And he's like, okay. no. I'm like, fuck it. Test, trend, Mastron, <laughs> Winstraw. Let's just get on all this shit. <laughs> and that's what I did. Why not? I'm just Why telling not? you, that combination with some tilapia and green beans a few times a day, bro, that's all you need. Hey, bro. <laughs> magic. You heard it. You heard it here first. Right. I'm not telling you to do that, by the way. I'm just saying that's what I did. We're not and condoning this. We're no. just saying it works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you figure it out, bro. <laughs> uh, so, you, uh, so you're over in, uh, what, Tampa, right? I am in, in Tampa. That, yeah. Then you you came down here to Daytona for like would you get a hotel? Yeah, yeah, I got a hotel uh, last night. I was not trying to drive. I mean, it's not very far of a drive. It's like two and a half hours. But I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm but not trying that, to do that. That early. stretch of the highway right before so Orlando, boring. garbage though. It's so, so much boring. traffic. 
Uh, yeah. I actually didn't have a whole real big issue with it. In oh, the good. Time I Thank came God. Through, so. Yeah, every time. And the way back now, you'll get hammered. That's what will happen. Guaranteed. I hope not. <laughs> that's what happened to me and him. We got stuck in traffic on the way back. That, like, stretch of road right there. God, it's awful. Yeah. Like, that. Mm. Yeah. I okay. don't think Florida drivers are bad. I think it's all the people who come to Florida and make Florida drivers bad. Right, right. Because oh, it, yeah. it is monotonous. Yeah, I could understand that. So what do you do um, outside of the 5% thing? What else are you into, man? What, what do you else do you do? Um, so I own and operate like a fitness company just like you do. A um, mm. bunch of online stuff. I like my freedom. Uh, like I told you earlier, I was an in-person personal trainer, and that sucked. Yeah. You don't make any money. It's it's so time-consuming. Um, so I do a lot, man. I help people. Uh, like I said, I, I own a, a, a health and fitness Mm-hmm. company online if you will yeah um i definitely help people with their hormones and that are trying to compete or wanting to compete right um i definitely square a lot of people just making lifestyle changes and shit right you name it i kind of got a whole group of people and then i got a whole bunch of people that have been hurt like like myself um of Do you course, try to help with like to get through it and yeah, recover and yeah, stuff yeah. so like it's kind of i go from <laughs> Like a motivational speaker to a damn like therapist on some of these guys. Yeah, so yeah. like I kind of have a wide range of functions through that company. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also a motivational speaker. I do modeling as well. Um, I haven't really been crazy um, modeling as of lately with all the injuries, and I'm just really wanting to heal up and get back into the gym. Like, oh, of course. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I'm 20 pounds underweight right now, and right. I, in fact, I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm just eager to get back to the gym. And then, like, I do a lot of content. Um, I'm doing a, the content creation thing for not only myself a lot for 5%. Uh, so Are you on TikTok? I am on TikTok. What's your TikTok name? Uh, actually, you know what? I need to look that up. <laughs> How do you not know your own TikTok, bro? Name? <laughs> because I've got so much crap going on. Oh, I get you. I get you. I, but you're on. But you're on. Like they can find you on Instagram. Oh, you YouTube. know what? Damn. Fail for me. It's Coach Mayhem underscore official as well. Uh, Coach Mayhem underscore official. There you yep. go. All right. So if you guys want to find his content, you guys can find him on TikTok. Um, and then you said that was the same as your YouTube channel, right? YouTube and my IG. There you go. See? So there you go. So you guys make sure you guys look that up. You guys give him a follow uh, and you guys can watch his story on there and stuff. So you can see like what he was talking about earlier, what things that he's been through and you know all that craziness. It's definitely an insane story if it's not one of the craziest things that you've seen. It sounds like it, bro. Now I need to go watch that shit. Bro, I'm telling you, like when I think I may have texted to you. It's wild. You like, sent me your YouTube channel. I just never got a chance to watch it. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you anyway. Channel. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, I figured we'd talk about it anyways. Oh, yeah, you know bro, I mean? like, uh, it, it, it's easier to name things that haven't happened to me, but I've actually <laughs> turned that crazy ass story into like what most people would think is like, oh, tragic. And they mm-hmm. think like, oh, they feel sorry for me. And like, oh, it's so sad. I'm like, yo, like, why is any of this sad? It would only be sad if I was a bum and still a loser. Like, right. Look well, that's, and it's pretty motivating that like you've turned all of that negative stuff into a positive outcome. You know, a lot of people don't do that. They just dwell on the negative shit that happened to them. And then they don't really go and pursue what they've wanted to in life. That's a fact. You no. Know? Yep. And I, I mean, if, if that's one of the biggest takeaways from my story, and that's one of the biggest things that I got from rich, but mine, like it just so happened to be that mine was very traumatic so Rich was that impact that I needed to kind of be like, oh, okay, so yeah. let me put my own spin on this. So yeah. now, like, I can show people, like, it really doesn't matter what has happened to you. Mm-hmm. Like, I know people that compete on stage that are in wheelchairs. Like, yep. fitness is for everybody. If you can walk to the fridge, you can fucking live a healthier life. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. Well, and that's I mean, when people get on the subject of, well, eating healthy is expensive. And I'm like, no, bro, cancer is expensive. Yeah, uh, no heart shit. transplant's expensive. No you know, shit. like, th- that's expensive. I don't, I don't get it. People will spend spend more money on their outfits, their clothes, their cars, their phones than they spend on food. And it's like the food's what's going to keep you alive exactly. longer. Exactly. And I you think know? it I think it boils down to like the quick and easy gratification thing that yeah. is going on, but even then like there's meal prep services out there that you can get meals for for like 5 6 bucks mm-hmm. that are actually fantastic for yeah. you so that's what i started doing but it's not i'm sorry guys they're not online but uh the there's a place right around the corner here yeah. um that it's called after body meals yeah um, that's what i started doing i just been going there and buying their their pre-made meals that they do and they have like a fit meal they have an active meal they have um, yeah. low carb meals you know and they're all fresh made and you just buy them and take them home and then they do delivery too 
Oh, so. killer. I actually just got sponsored by a company that's out in Clearwater. Uh, mm-hmm. They service that surrounding area, Pelican Meals. Shout out to you guys. You guys yeah. are awesome, by the way. Hell yeah. Similar instances. They got breakfast. They got, like, snacks. They got, like, Greek yogurt stuff I was looking at yesterday, which, oh, my God. Nice. Uh, they got keto options, breakfast, dinner. I know. I already what do their breakfast. meals run for, like, typically? Like, if someone was to sign up and order them? I think it's, like, seven ninety five or something. It's Damn, really that's reasonable. cheap. Yeah, it's really reasonable. Um I will say if you are like the uh, 795 meals are great for like on the go people they're perfectly portioned but mm-hmm. like us bigger guys you're definitely going to have to click the add protein option right, you're right. Gonna need that right okay <laughs> you do you have that. a discount code with them or something uh, I do have a discount what is it? code it is mayhem so make sure to go drop them a uh yeah. inbox a dm whatever however you look them up and again that is pelican meals you can find them at an ig nice all right well we'll plug that in there too so that that way people can see that and use your code if they want to look at something and try to you know good shit try to order some shit man yeah try to help you out the best we can good you know shit. we're still growing over here you know i'm trying to get you guys to subscribe so just real quick since we're on that topic if you guys are watching this and you're not a subscriber yet make sure you guys do that because we're making all kinds of crazy ass content over here as well as tiktok where we talk about even crazier stuff so smash that subscribe button <laughs> <laughs> definitely gonna have to jump on that tiktok game with you i think i'm just gonna start doing more like me content just I go believe. for it dude you yeah. know you know what really drives me nuts though is that recently tiktok got rid of the q a and that was a big oh, thing for yeah. me it's just i woke up one morning and it's gone oh. and i'm like what the fuck what do you mean where to go because i love that people can go on there they can ask questions and then i go through the list and i just respond to them and create content with it right. now i'm doing the same thing but i'm going through comments and doing it because the q a is gone I, I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what's going on in TikTok's facility. Uh, but, the yeah. algorithm overlords, bro, have been the bane of my yeah. existence it's for quite some crazy, time. man. I had videos get reported and like said that they were taken down, even yeah. though they were never even taken down. They're still up and doing just fine. So I'm like, I, I don't understand what the hell is going on with yeah, that. Yeah, I don't understand any of it. I've actually uh, get, got a lot of my... A lot of my videos consolidated. I'm about to go over to Rumble as well. So if you're not hip there, it'll probably be Coach Mayhem underscore official there too. On Rumble? Yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about Rumble. Rumble's awesome. It's like Twitter for videos. Yeah. You can well, Twitter's not even whatever. called Twitter anymore. Did no, you see it's that? X. I, I love woke it. up the other morning too. I'm like, what in the it. fuck? What is on my phone? Yo, I, I, <laughs> I think Elon Musk tweeted. He goes, so, so if we're not Twitter anymore, these aren't tweets. So like, what do we call them now? You know, and like there was a whole, you know, thousands of comments about like oh, what yeah, to call them. It's hilarious. Anything I didn't even know that this. man does is great. <laughs> it's crazy, man. That guy has like the power of the internet. At one comment, he can change an entire stock market. Right. Like what? He's literally Tony Stark. Yeah, I'm pretty he's, convinced. He's literally Iron Man. Yeah, I, I bet you he has a suit. If he doesn't, it's a damn. <laughs> I'm sure he does though. Maybe someday we'll get this podcast big enough, and he'll actually come down and get on it with me. Maybe. Yeah, it might take a decade, but you know, we might get there. I don't know. Hey, whatever. <laughs> whatever it takes. God damn it. <laughs> Who's got Joe Rogan's number? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's funny because you got that whatever it takes. On yeah, your shirt. yeah, right. I got that shit tattooed across my fucking collarbone. Oh man. no, kidding. Oh yeah, yeah, that's outstanding. Yeah. That shit hurt though. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I'm such a bitch when it comes to getting tattooed. Yeah, it's terrible. I actually don't have any five percent tattoos yet. I've got a couple I need to clean up and get rid of because as I've gotten bigger and smaller from the injuries. Oh, I tell me about fat. it. Yeah, I yeah. got like when I was 16, I had a koi fish done on my rib cage. Oh, probably and, like trash. Uh, oh yeah, Actually. and then I got fat because I was yeah. skinny back then. I played sports. I got fat. Now that bitch looks like a like blown a out whale, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the lines of the tail are blown out. So instead of being like a, a narrow line, it's like it just looks like someone tried to erase it with a pencil because <laughs> it's like right through a stretch mark, dude. It's like, oh, oh my God. God, terrible. No, I'm not going to show you, you guys. Kiss my ass, all right? And then the stretch marks is not going to be fun. Are you going to get it removed or what? No, I'm just going to no. leave it and hug it. No one's, <laughs> no one's touching my rib cage ever again. That was terrifying. That was terrible. Oh, I bet it hurt. Yeah, that was terrible. But meanwhile, my wife goes and we get like these little crowns done. I got mine on my neck, which sucked too. She got hers on oh, her rib cage, big ass queen uh, crown. Yeah. She laid there for like three hours, didn't even so much as flinch. No kidding. I'm like, did I marry a fucking warrior? Or like, what is going on? She's just I mean, a savage. I mean, they do give birth, so I guess they would have a higher pain tolerance. Yeah. But even I've got a high pain tolerance, and I'm not, I don't know. No. I don't know. If you have any rib cage done? I do not. Don't do it. I do I'm not. telling I've you. broken my ribs a few times, and that hurts enough. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not going to tattoo that area. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, whatever. No, no, what you do is you'll get all cocky, and you'll put like this big ass stencil on your ribs. Yeah, that's yeah. what will happen. Yeah, and that's then exactly they touch you once with that needle, and you oh, instantly. Oh, God. 
Yeah. Oh, when then, I got my neck done, I almost quit. As soon as he hit me with that needle, I was about to be like, oh, nope, maybe not. Time out, coach. Let's yeah, <laughs> there was a couple areas in my wrist that I was like, oh, oh God, yeah, like get off, here. get off, get yeah. off, get off. Yeah, man. It was not fun Terrible. at all. That was the uh, 5% trip, though. Like, what all were you guys doing out there? Like, just a, like a walk through or? We, yeah, we just wanted to come out. I've always wanted to see the facility. And so I just hit up Peter one day and I was like, hey, man, like, can me and my videographer come down and can we just like just walk through the facility, like yeah. show us what goes on here and stuff. I, I, it was for me personally, I just, it was something I've always wanted to do. Oh, it, facts. it was like one day I ever, I, first day I ever saw that video, I was still super overweight and I was like, man, it'd be so cool to go see that, you know? Right. And then to do it almost a decade later right. is insane. Um, Doesn't it give you that? Cause you're kind of in a similar situation that I was like being at a certain point. And I was now, nervous as fuck walking in there, dude. You know, you know, no lie. Like, the first time, I mean, I'd already talked to a couple people, but it was just like, I think it was. I think it was more excitement than nerves. Yeah, I was like, yeah. dude, he walked through these doors and yeah. shit. Like he came here. Mm -hmm. But as you were saying, yeah, it was no. It was just. Uh, it was just one of the things, man. Where it was like, it was. It was for that. But I also wanted to give. You know, obviously, I have a supplement website, supplement store, and stuff. Um, and I we sell a lot of the five percent stuff. And I wanted to give my viewers an insight of like the facility and how you guys run everything and how everything's done, right. so that it kind of builds a better relationship with the brand for the people that are supporting the brand. You know, right. Right. Um, even though they buy it through me, but they still like they can see that what they're buying is coming from a quality facility doing good things. You know, right. um, like we showcased where you, uh, they do the the little testing before they actually release it. You know, the right, right, the table. right. And that was pretty cool. You know, and it was just something that that um, I don't know if other brands do or not, but I mean, it's something that made sense that they should do. Right. So it was cool to see five percent doing that. You I know, I definitely enjoy being on a team. Like you'll you'll see me say like. <laughs> supplements without the bullshit yes and that that's yeah. i mean i it literally means that like mm -hmm. we go through a lot and if you look at our products and you look at the ingredients we actually spend a lot of money on the ingredients and i mean they go through a lot over there it the, the the powers that be that do all that stuff inside the offices they go through a lot and they spend a lot yeah. of time effort and energy like our new rtd is one of the best on the shelf people are like well why is it six dollars like did you see what's in yeah, it? Yeah, look at the formula, man. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, I don't think people understand that the cost of these things are just going up. You know? It, it and is, and it that's sucks. That's a sad reality. You know? It you, really sucks. Like I remember when, um, what is it, the All Day You May was much cheaper. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, that's like my yeah, lifeline. I remember that, too. I was right? by, when I lived in Vegas, man, I went through... Hundreds of those fucking containers. Oh yeah, the I sweet go tea. At least one. I at least one a week. Yeah, at least one. easily. It's not hard to do. Oh, I mean, God, no. you know, just mix in with that gallons of water and stuff. And I always tell people too, because everyone's like, "Oh, aminos work," or they don't work, or whatever. And you know, just always back and forth. I'm like, guys, fuck whether they work or not. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. If you're out there and you're struggling to get off of sodas or to get off right. of sugary drinks, right. get yourself a gallon of water, a container of all day you may. That's link in bio, by the way. That's <laughs> add, a fact. Add a fat ass scoop of that all day you made to that gallon of water and i and guarantee you yes i literally it tastes like kool-aid it really does i, yeah. I call it bodybuilder kool-aid <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll see me on several videos i even talk about how great it tastes with vodka yeah yeah i've done that i've done that a few times i've done it yeah dude yeah oh, we did the blueberry lemonade one time i shook it up and then added a shot of tequila to it and made yeah. like a little cocktail yes, sir <laughs> I may be so, drinking, but I'm doing it healthy. It's got yeah. aminos in it. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying it's to what, hydrate. Yeah. And, and we're getting that joint support in there as know. well, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need it when we're drunk and we fall over. Re replenishing <laughs> my muscles as I get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, it's a wild man. life over there. But yeah, I bet, dude. I bet. That's cool. But, I mean, it, it, they, they literally do have one of the top products on the market. Like, people will complain or whatever, like, the, the, the price. And I'll always tell them, like, yeah, I mean, you could go get cheap products, but would you put cheap gas in a Ferrari? Like, why would you? Right. Why would you put shit in your body and expect it to perform well? Mm -hmm. So. Nope. Yep. No, I agree too. And, and it's I'm, it's it's you're always gonna have people like that. You know, there's you guys aren't even expensive compared to other brands. Like there there's are other ones brands. that are. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, even Like a Pro, you know, which is a great brand. I love Jeff, the owner of Like a Pro supplements. Right. Uh, Jeff Long. Um, you know, his it, they, they he just recently lowered some of his pricing. Um, but uh, but I mean, for a while, man, I mean, his Complete Health. 
$139 a month if you're taking a full dose. Oof. But the formula of that product is absolutely insane. I'm, I'm sure it's top. Yeah, I, mean, I literally did a video the other day. We sold out of like 24 units in a matter of like an hour. And I'm like, God damn it. Now I got to order more. But, right, you know, right. so I'm out. So don't go run and try to buy any. I'll get more, I promise. But, Good problem to have. But, but yeah, I mean, like that's just expensive. But the formula is crazy and right. you know if you want a good formula and you want good quality ingredients unfortunately it's going to cost you a little bit yeah you, you know? gotta pay for it yep. i mean and isn't that always been the saying yeah you get what absolutely. you pay for and it, that's definitely the case with supplements and absolutely. then the, the worst part about our industry is that there's so many people that will push shit products mm -hmm. that like you really have to have a solid ass product to not only stand out but then your marketing's got to be on point because i know that there's products that are complete shit that have great marketing but yep. And vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why when we formulated the pre workouts for performance lab supplements, I was so picky over exactly what I wanted and how I wanted it. The same thing with the SARMs and the you right. know, stuff like that, too. I was so particular. I'm like, I need this, this, this. And if it's not this, I don't want it. You know what that's I mean? That's a fact. And, and then we do all the third party testing ourselves, too. So yeah. we make sure that it gets sent out, gets third party tested. We get those COAs to make sure that everything's pure, all that stuff. What is that humming? I is don't that know. a Ferrari outside again? I have no idea. But regardless, I mean, I was going to wrap it up anyways. Do you have anything else you need to say? Or do <laughs> no, you get man, off? I don't. No? I don't. No? All right, man. Well, it's been a pleasure having you. It's been great being yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys at home, uh, again, make sure you guys check out his YouTube channel and uh, TikTok and stuff. Uh, Coach Mayhem Official. Un underscore official. Coach Mayhem underscore, underscore official. official. All right. Yes, sir. And then again, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Make sure you jump over to TikTok and follow me there, NM Fitness 90. You guys can do that. All the links are in my description if you guys need any supplement products. <laughs> anything like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>